Hello and welcome. We still know it, bringing you some pre-patch updates and some summarization of the recent AMA. So, coming this Monday, we will have a patch that will bring us 150 player levels instead of the 100 we currently have. This will boost us up to 1750 at level 150. The system will change so at the start of the game you would have 510 and have an increase of 10 per level up to level 100 instead of the current 11 we have and after level 100 you will have your CPU increased by 5. So that's the first good news. This other piece of news might be a disappointment for some and a true blessing for others. Megabots will be removed from Robocraft. This as they didn't really fit anymore. They would, in Team Deathmatch, they would be a follow the mega style of a bot and the bot would either bring you to victory or to failure. Many players have felt that it's frustrating that you would have a noob mega with like one gun, or sometimes no gun and just be a burden to the team. The Mega module will be transformed into a new module, a power booster, that will give a 20% power regeneration. All players that had the Mega module will have each of them transformed into a power booster. Also, everyone who had a Mega module will be receiving 2500 GC. This is per player, not per module. Also, sellback value for everyone will be 100% for one week. So if you have some mega weapons or mega movement you don't want, you can sell this at full refund. More news of a power booster. It will cost 290 CPU. Multiple power boosters don't stack the effect. And as I said before, it's 20%. So Full regeneration power will go from 10 seconds to 8. When mega bots are removed, the mega parts have been rebalanced. So mega wheel CPU will cost 100. Health has been increased by 117%. And wheel speed has been increased by 35%. Mega harvest has had its CPU reduced to 100. Health increased by 215%, Mega Hover Speed has been increased by 21%, Mega Mech Legs have had its CPU reduced to 205, its health increased by 25%, Shield has been increased by 25%, and the Mega Shields, the Electro Plates, has had its CPU reduced to 130. Other balance changes that doesn't involve Megas. The lock on missile launcher robot ranking has been increased to 20,000, and the seeker has had its ranking increased to 17,500. This is so that the easy lock on weapon styles will not be present in lower tier games. Also, rail accuracy while moving has been increased. Other improvements that is worth noting is the nano. Right click auto healing now is the same speed as the left click. So, what was said during the Ask Me Anything? We will be getting new game modes. This will happen after they have changed the progression system to a horizontal system. That means that everything will be viable, not just the high tier stuff. And after this horizontal new progression system, we will have game modes starting with simpler ones and then maybe like game modes like racing and such but such game modes would be have to test it first and if they don't fit into game or not fun or anything like that they won't be added. They are thinking on how to improve electroplates as they are not as viable as just block spam. It was clearly visible during the Mega Pit uh, stream where electroplated bots that looked really good and 
it was the definition of megabots using many different megabots parts was shredded by block spam bots and block spam bots wouldn't really die you just kept shooting at them so EPs will probably be getting a buff soon. 3M is also going to start working on physics really soon particularly focused on wheels and tank tracks and also other movements will be improved but in particular wheels and tank tracks. Strafing has also been looked into and probably every movement type will have a strafing options. How this would work for some movement pieces like tank tracks and wheels we don't know. This might not happen for them. Front mounted SMG will probably be improved in the new progression system and have some benefit to it as a top mounted SMG has all benefits compared to the front mounted at the moment. After the horizontal progression has been worked out, the larger or small and smaller pieces like plasma, SMGs and also movement types will all have its own playstyle and all work together. So you can have small bots with smaller pieces instead of having larger large movement pieces for say and this might give you like better top speed compared to better carry weight and, and such. Have you ever thought that is this a thing? Where is the information for this? So we have many others and the current information available to us is sometimes abysmal. Some information that we previously had we don't have any more, like uh, diminishing returns and such. They will be looking into this and hopefully be giving it to us in a way that's not too overwhelming for new users, but our veteran users can use this information. 3M also wants to add supporter roles. We have They have some in the pipeline, like turrets and things will also probably come at some point, like why not? Two new components will come in April that will amp up the close combat and hopefully bring back this close range instead of the recent long range that has been locked on missile launcher, flak and the proto seeker. Also that when back end technology has been fixed we will hopefully easily get 100 garage base instead of the 25 we have at the moment. And that was a compilation of the patch notes and the AMA. Please leave a comment below. This has been Stolner signing out.